Greetings my knights, I'm King Sonomos and welcome back to Stardew Valley and today is the day of the Egg Festival if I'm correct. We do have stock, like, we, not stock, we do have, um, some plants growing, but I actually want to see what the festival is like. Those worms. Oh, okay, so I had saw this in, um, in the video. If I, I think they're like, if you hold the ground, yeah, you get stuff. And apparently we got a lost book. Found a lost book, the library's collection has expanded. Oh. Today's festival is set, is seeing set up, come back later. So... I think what we need to do is we should try and get um what is it we should try and pick up some of these crops and I'm just gonna put I'm not gonna visit Pierre today um I'm just gonna go put those in the little trading bin I feel like after the festival we should try and uh, clear up some of this um what is it some of this land do I have to click okay? Oh, and there goes our um, dog up there. Hello, Aaron. I named him Aaron, right? I don't remember. I haven't played Stardew in a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and remove a few of these trees. But what my plan is today is trying to... Um, I'm going to try and make the farm a little bit more tidy and I mean like the actual farm like right here I'm gonna try and get that cleaned up so I'm gonna try like it's already kind of good looking but I'm gonna try and make it look more organized like put stuff in um in rows and stuff have it all evened out have everything like easy but I learned that there are sprinkle sprinklers in the game can I pick acorns up okay I can it's just my inventory is full but there are like sprinklers in the game and stuff and you can upgrade your tools with um copper i'm mean, having my brain's just not operating today um i could probably put some copper in here <sighs> so so far in stardew it's just a normal beautiful day oh here at tiki farm everything's all nice and set up the reason why i want to upgrade my tools i can get rid of stuff like that um, the festival has begun in town square. Okay, so I'm gonna just, yeah, you know, never mind. I think I have enough space where I can just go there normally. Okay, the egg festival is here. So there's Pierre, the um, Shane the dirt bag. Our hymns have been working over time to prepare. Oh, sorry, our hens have been working over time to prepare for this festival. They deserve the best thought. I'm, bleh, they deserve the best tonight. Bowls full of sweet yellow corn. Okay, so he's not acting like a dirtbag today. And Pierre is still out here selling stuff. Strawberry seeds. It takes eight days. Uh, decorative pitchfork. I don't got nothing that I can really buy. I want to buy a big seasonal plant, but that's all my money. And it, no, both of them were all my money. I could have. Never mind. Okay, I think this would be a great way to introduce ourselves. I mean, I think the only person we have to introduce ourselves to is the wizard, correct? Because nobody else has question marks, at least from what I know. Yep, the wizard. 
but I don't think he's here because everyone's just in the town square. George? What's everyone so happy about? Hmm. Eggs? Why eggs? Because it's Easter. Actually, when I'm recording this, today, I mean, not today, but... Well, no, it's the week of Easter. It's currently Wednesday when I'm recording this. It's the week of Easter. The festival has been as been a tradition for as long as I can remember. Tradition connects with us, both the past and the future. It's comforting. Harvey. Eggs definitely have a place in the well-balanced diet. Pam. Yeah, I put something nice into the punch. I feel like she spiked the punch or something in there that's gonna kill me. Uh, no one really talks to me. I just come for the deviled eggs. Is there any more food? Okay. I've already talked to- No, I haven't talked to Gus. I hope everyone's enjoying the food. I've been cooking for days to get everything ready. Fried eggs, boiled eggs, poached eggs, devil eggs, scrambled eggs, chocolate eggs, you name it. So, all I hear is that we only have eggs. I always look forward to those gatherings. It makes the valley feel like a real community. Penny, the children have been looking forward to this festival for weeks. Jazz, I hope I can find some eggs before Vincent takes them all. I mean, that's the egg hunt start. I'm so excited. Jody, v Vincent loves this festival. It's a joy to see him so happy. I've been up since dawn coloring eggs. is always my favorite part of the season. Was I supposed to bring something here? Because I, I didn't bring nothing. Egg. What a strange thing to eat. Welcome to the Egg Festival. Compliments of my wonderful bro broad, broad, broad hand. I have... We're just going to skip that. <laughs> Hmm, the fruit, this fruit punch is usually good. I see you not even, you're not even holding it. Okay, just taking breaks from work can make you more productive in the long run. You only got a few more people to talk to and I just had to talk to Lewis. I try to eat at least three eggs every day. Need that protein from, okay. This festival is alright, but what I'm really looking forward to is the flower dance. Oops, I should take off my doctor's hat for the time being. I don't even know if he, he's ever wearing a hat. We used to do a rotten egg toss. Mayor Lewis put it into that pretty quick. <laughs> well, I wonder I wonder why. I wonder why he put um, a rotten egg toss so quick. Like, why did he put it down so quickly? I don't know. It's world mysteries. So this for eggs is like going to a, on a treasure hunt. Sniff of my doe's allergy. Uh, and I think that's everybody that I talked to y'all too. Caroline, Abby always loved the egg hunt ever since she was a tiny girl. Spring is a busy time of year, so it's nice to have a day off to catch up with friends. And Marlin, even with my bad leg, I'll never miss a town festival. Oh, Willie. Sometimes I'll hide an egg too well and no one finds it. Well, until summer rolls around, then the hot air starts to bring out the rotten smell. Okay, so that's everybody except for a loot. Do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt yet? Okay, sure, let's just get started. Um. Oh. It's time for the highlight of today's festi festivities. The annual spring egg hunt. <laughs> Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. But where would any of the eggs be hiding at? Now is everyone ready? Let the egg hunt begin. Okay. Oh crap. I have. Oh. Okay, so you can slightly see them. Okay, this is... I'm trying to find all the eggs because I actually want to know what that secret prize is. So 
So do I just get to do this like every time, every um, every year this time around? Cause if I can, I don't know if I should be like trying to hurry up and just trying to collect any little egg that I see. Cause I don't think it will be such a big idea. It's just the back of this old pickup truck. No, dang it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I lost this cause I only collected 10 of them. Okay, what are the results? Well, look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently, we'll have the cleanest town, town this side of the gym C. Huh. And the music stopped. Why? <laughs> and now, the winner of this year's egg hunt. Jay! Oh, I won! Here's your prize. Enjoy. It better be like money. Oh. Well, that's it for this year's egg festival. Thank you. Oh. Okay. I mean, I got a straw hat. Don't know. Don't know if I should be happy about that. And it's midnight. Well, I mean, 79 gold. Wait a minute. Did I really spend? I mean, I spent my money on the, on the house plant, but I didn't think it would be that much. I guess I could put it next to the window. Yeah, a little doggy sleep. <sighs> okay, maybe I can... Ah, that took up my last bit of coal, so I won't be able to do it. No, I want to open the chest. I didn't need to take off my bowl. Okay, maybe if we try and visit the wizard now... He might be up. Oh, he might be a night. He might be a character we can only visit at like the night time. Cause I mean, if his door is locked and it's and he's a wizard, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna really interact with the town as much. Okay, is this? Yes. Okay, so this is the um tower. It's locked. You hear someone inside though. It's getting late. I mean, I have enough energy, but I do not like how that's red. So I think we should probably just head back to the house. Uh, is there a quicker? No, that's that tree. Is there a quicker way where I can try and get to the house without? Well, like, why is it counting down to like? Why did it get red all of a sudden? It's probably gonna um. I probably have to be in there by day or something will happen. Cause this is getting very close to the um uh edge of the meter. Like I, I mean, this isn't a horror game, so I don't think nothing bad should happen. Oh, he's just getting tired. Okay, put that in there. Go to sleep, and we should just wake up and do some more farm work. It is raining outside. <laughs> Oh, so that means I don't want to have to water the crops today. So I think I'm just going to, uh, I think I'm just going to go and head back to sleep. Just going to wake up in the morning when it's not raining. Okay, what is this? Hello, dear. I know you're just getting started as a gardener. So I want to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will all die. So plan ahead. The heck was that noise? <sighs> okay, we have all these parsnips that are. Oh no, these are the potatoes. Scared off one crow. Good job, buddy. Okay. Oh, that was a little dandelion. Actually, isn't that? Yeah. So there's dandelions. I think that's a. Uh, uh, what is it? A leak. It's a leak. Oh, so these flowers are daffodils. And apparently I can actually sell these. So I'm going to just walk up into town and go ahead and sell these when the stores open up. Probably should collect that one uh, down there as well.
So while waiting for Pierre to uh, open up the shop, Pam's birthday is on the 18th. Shane's birthday is on the 20th. And the sp and spring ends on the 28th. So, oh, and there's a flower dance. And Pierre and Emily's birthdays are these days. So, when does he open up? Nine. He opens up at nine. I got money, so I'm probably going to... Well, no. Well, actually, no. Yeah, I can buy some more seeds. So, I'm going to just sit out here and wait until Pierre's shop opens up. So we can sell these, then we're going to head to the mine, and then we're going to try and at least make it to level 10. At the very least, we're going to try and make it to level 10 today. Okay, so we're down here on level 5. And I'm already getting my butt handed to me by a stupid tiny slime. I mean, it seems like nothing's in here. I still haven't got a single piece of coal yet. Hopefully this geode holds coal. You're starting to get exhausted. Yeah, I don't want to pass out in this cave. Especially with all the stuff that I have. There is something up here. Up at the very level. Well, I mean not very level. At the very top of the mine. Right here. So can I explode it? Yes. Yes, I can. It's... Um... I have no idea, but there's another cave right there. Huh. Okay, so people will be closing soon, so I'm gonna just go ahead. Ah, okay, so I can actually eat this. This is good. How much energy did I get? Okay, 25. I'm trying to head down to the blacksmith, and then I'm probably going to head out to the um, bar and probably get something to eat there. And I just got to the blacksmith and it's locked. I should have suspected that, so I'm going to just head back home and I'm going to Juicy Wild Bug Flesh. I want to see, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, because it says Monster Loot. So I'm pretty sure I could probably sell it in some capacity. And it just became nine. I Pierre's just closed. I barely just freaking made it. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna just head back to the base. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to sleep and then I'll figure out what to do next. And we finally have a sprinkler, a male named machine. Uh, one plus, oh yeah, and stone fence, plus one watering can proficiency, and plus one hoe efficiency. So, also we can make a red and ring, I mean it's not red and ring, but still, and bug steak. Also we leveled up in combat and we have more HP. So I think that was pretty successful, now we need to start trying to clear out most of this farm, get a little bit of stuff ready, especially, oh my tulips, they're finally done. Dear neighbor, I hope you are feeling settled in your new home. I am. I'm. I am writing to let you know what that Pierre store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if we can afford a few dozen boxes or so, Pierre? That's nice of him. I'm gonna just put these in the chest until we're able to actually travel down Pierre's, and I might actually check out this fertilizer fertilizer deal. I need a clip. Yeah. So the entire farm. Is uh, ready, so I'm probably going to demolish this, and I'm gonna put um, my scarecrow right there to prevent any uh, crows from coming and eating my crops, cause crops cost money, and that's one thing that we're not rolling in. But since we have sprinklers, we should be able also to speed up and have better efficiency when it comes to this. Let's make the chess. Uh, nah, I would just make it normal. I'm probably gonna color code it eventually. Toggle color picker. Oh, so these all oh, these things. Me, yeah, I'm probably gonna end up color coding chests eventually soon. Uh, first, first things first. Take scarecrow. And, dear buddy pal, you're going right there. We're going to clear out 
disarm, water the tulips, clear out more area, head down to Pierre. Actually, no, because I'm going to put the fertilizer there on first, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and grab the fertilizer when I can. Then I'm going to go ahead and water them, because I don't know how this fertilizer works. My, yeah, I'm going to just sell the tulips directly to Pierre, and now I'm just going to put the rest in the box. Okay, time to head off to Pierre. Let's go ahead and sell these tulips, come back, use fertilizer, plant the plants, and then do ya ya ya, fish a little bit, clear out the area, and then possibly pass out, and then that'll be the end of the episode. Never mind. Oh, hi there. What do you want, Louis? When the eye saw. This is the Pelican Town Community Center or what's left of it anyways. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it. It's shameful. Yes it is. It's very shameful, kind of. I mean, I'm here now, so I think I should be able to try and fix repair it. He says some young folk were rather sit in front of the TV and engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stepping, stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah oh, well. If anyone else buys a Judge Co. membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Here, let's go inside. Like I said, I can repair it if you want me to. Oh, it's... Yeah, that's bad. This looks real bad. What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz has been playing in here. Place is even more dilapidated than I remember. With the oh oh that what the heck are those? How did I not notice that when it first popped up? What's the matter? Are you ill? You saw something, hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. There it goes again. So. You're worrying me, Jay. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked for now. from now on. Maybe you can help me catch the right if you have some extra time. Strange. I have to come back and explore this building further. Okay. <sighs> I was stopped on my way to Pierre, so let's just hurry up and sell these, get the fertilizer, and like I said, plant and clear out some more land, and then we can go to bed. I'm not even in control of another cutscene. Welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? Huh? It's a sage of the dark realm. Realm? Realm. Who? Oh, no, it's Morris. Ahem. Yes, you're going to say anything? Come and get it, folks. Coupon for your 50% off your approach. Really? He's really going to come in here and then take his, well, any takers? He really came in here and started waving a coupon around the place to get more business. I can't match those presses. I'll be selling at a loss. Knowing him, he probably had, it must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. But can you blame them? Judge Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the whole town will realize that. I'm probably still going to be paying here. Number one, for the fact that I trust Pierre more than you. And number two, Pierre is closer to my house, so I'm going to stop here.
Not bad if I do say so myself. Okay, maybe we can fish right here. Can we fish out of this little pond? Soggy newspaper. I don't think we can do anything with a broken TV and some. Yeah, I can't even put these things on. Uh, it's just a waste of time and energy at this point. Okay, so what I was thinking about doing is having like a path from here, like a big main path system that connects all these farms together. We'll do like little tiny farms. Actually, you know what? We should just go ahead and try and end this episode off right here. Um, please leave a like, please comment. Please, actually, you know what? I'm gonna not, I'm gonna not just say that. I hope you guys enjoyed because I was saying my intro wrong. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, please comment, please share, and please subscribe. And I'll see y'all guys in the next video. Also, I forgot to tell you, make sure you hit the notification bell. And then you'll be notified on all the videos that I do. And while you're at it, if you like Stardew Valley, I have other Stardew Valley videos that you can watch. I have the first and second part up by now. Um, so if you want to, go ahead and check those out. Or check some other videos out. And I'll see y'all guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>